Hello affectionate viewers and welcome to today's Animal World Our Co-Inhabitants featuring the second and final part of our interview with eight-year-old British animal advocate Olivia Binfield. Olivia began dedicating her life to the protection and preservation of our animal friends at the age of three when she stopped eating meat after learning animals are killed to produce it. She was always interested in animals, even when she was a baby. She just flipped the pages with the animals more than any other pages. So from very young, I think I noticed, and then everything, she didn't want, wasn't interested in any normal toys, dolls, anything like that. She just wanted animals. In 2011, she appeared on the popular British TV show, Britain's Got Talent and recited her poem, Endangered Animals. What made you and Olivia decide that she would present her poem about saving animals on Britain's Got Talent? Um, because all the time she's been saying she wants to tell people and help people. And then we saw um, an email about it and Olivia had this idea and we wrote it down and then they asked us to come. I didn't think anything would come of it, but it did. She must have gained a great deal of publicity and fame from her performance. How has this affected her? I don't think it's affected her at all because her passion is not for wanting to be public or anything else or be famous, it's for her, the animals. Mm -hmm. And um, when she went on the show, she wasn't nervous. I was, mm -hmm. but she wasn't. And um, anything we've done has always been about the animals, not about um, Olivia, so she just sort of takes it in her stride, yeah. Here is an excerpt of Olivia's poem on tigers, a species that has nearly disappeared from our world. Eyes, red like fire, exquisitely designed skin. We cannot let the beautiful tiger end up in the bin. Watch it glide gracefully above the green jungle floor Yet only 3,000 left in the wild, there should be more. Greedy poachers breaking the law. Ridiculous beliefs by vanity almost be shown the door. We must not let the creature disappear, for that is my most dreaded fear. Olivia's passion for saving endangered animals is well known. So much so that David Shepherd a renowned British wildlife artist and founder of the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation invited her to become an official ambassador for his Tiger Time project which safeguards tigers by helping to prosecute poachers and encouraging the public to always shun medicines with tiger parts in them. David Shepherd is a very famous artist and he draws pictures of elephants and lots of different animals and then basically he paints lots of pictures. David Shepard, he took me to his place and he gave me a paintbrush and I helped him to paint one of his pictures which was re really good and I did um, some drawings and he gave me that certificate and to help do his thing about saving the tiger. I went with this huge soft toy tiger to get some photos of because they was going to go near an auction and the picture I helped do with him also went in the auction to help raise some money for the tigers. Olivia's love for animals knows no bounds. She's even fond of bats. Like this one here, I went through this enclosure with this man who looked like bats. So he'd been showing some other people around and he um, showed me around. Um, it, you went into the enclosure with um, some with little um, and the bats. And there were bats, there were some on the ceiling and a few on the sides. And there was one on the side who was really playful and I stroked him and he clawed my hair. And he used his sharp claws for clinging on, and near there was a little bat centre where they looked after injured bats. 
Olivia loves to read. And what are her favourite kinds of books? Ones about animals, of course. And I've got some really nice books here. And this one here, Spirit of the Wild, was a book I got for Christmas by Steve Bloom. And it's got lots of lovely pictures with little writing to show that animals are true friends and that we should look after them. And I've also got lots of different books like this one. And at the end, there's an animal A to Z, which shows all different types of animals. And I've got a book here, which I get. It's a little nice one. There it is. I have to be careful when I take it down because it's next to a lion. And it's called Planet Animal. Uh, to save Earth's disappearing animals. It's got a map on the front. Where is it? Little map, which shows where they come from. Bacteria and camel is the brown colour which is um, scattered a bit round here. The polar bear is purple. And there's the Bengal tiger, which is orange here. And there's the yellow, which is for the Asian elephant. So these are animals that are endangered. What does yeah. that mean? Endangered means that, that they're disappearing. And it's all about endangered animals, which are on the brink of extinction, dying forever. And these are some leatherback turtles, which are the largest species of turtle and this is where they're trying to protect turtles eggs and they come back every year to the area where they beat to lay their eggs so turtles sometimes get tangled up in nets and pollution that oil spills and stuff that get into the sea and sometimes they eat plastic bags then it gets stuffed in their throat and sometimes boats and jet skis crash into them and sometimes people get beaches and they put hotels on them and if that was a beach where they were born it means they don't have anywhere to lay their eggs and some people catch the turtles and eat them and sell their eggs for food. The ice is melting because of global warming which is a big threat for the polar bears and also um, their thick furs are sometimes used as coat. Whales are really big and sometimes they're caught by whaling, people who go up out on boats and just kill them. And there was this um, guy who was a whale hunter and they told him to um, stop doing it and he did it. And, and he told other people and they all stopped. The orangutan who thing from jungles in Borneo, their forests were being cut down for farming land. So every year they cut down more and more of the rainforest, meaning there's hardly any home left for the orangutan. Olivia is a true animal advocate, often speaking to other children about our animal friends and encouraging her peers to take good care of them. She does uh, shows for children or students. She's done a few um, where they show the different animals, pass them around and explain it and so that people can help um, understand a bit more about the animals. And I think it's quite good because they tend to listen more to a child than they do to an adult. So I think it's quite good. I think she'd like to have her own little show where she could um, be on TV and show all the animals and explain it. But if she inspire a lot of other children? Yes, yeah, I think so. Right. Make them think about things that um, mm -hmm. they probably haven't thought about before. What do you think lies in her future? Um, I'm sure it's with animals mm -hmm. and I'm sure she'll do a lot, hopefully, to save them and to make people more aware of what we can all do to make the world a better place for the animals. It's made me very proud that she's got um, such passion and um, such honesty and the innocence about it. Yeah, it's lovely. It's made me very proud. Olivia has some suggestions for other children who may want to help animals. You can at school ask your teacher about the organisation that's trying to help save polar bear and you can find out more about them. You can show that art by doing organisations and then write a letter and, um, and maybe even give them a donation to, for, to help. Many thanks, Olivia Binfield, for your dedicated efforts to safeguard the lives and well-being of our animal co-inhabitants. 
you provide a marvellous example for us all. We pray that your diligent work continues to motivate other young people to follow in your noble footsteps. And may your projects for the animals enjoy lasting success. We also share your vision for a world where all animals are always treated with love and respect. For more information on Olivia Binfield, please visit www.oliviabinfield.co.uk or follow her on Facebook. Read her tweets at www.twitter.com forward slash Olivia Binfield. Thank you for viewing today's edition of Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants. May all beings soon enjoy happiness and harmony on a peaceful vegan planet. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.